when it comes to Kenya Moore, people have always had this awkward love-hate relationship watching her on the show. But ever since she announced that her and her husband, Mark, are expecting... Yes, yes, you're yes that's new. Oh, um... We've definitely seen <laughs> a lot more love. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video, and today let's talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore and whether or not she's serving a full-blown baby bump or not. Are you serious? Don't play with us. I can't wait. Now, before we get started, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, then hit that bell button because you don't want to miss out on being a part of my notification squad where you get to be the first to see videos that I send out to my most loyal subscribers. It's no secret that some viewers are always going to be skeptical about anything that comes out of the mouth of Kenya Moore partly due to her shady behavior on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and also thanks to the full-blown smear campaign led by Phaedra Parks over the last few years. Really? Liar, liar, pants no, on I've always said you was a Please. Girl. <laughs> what you did was unspeakable, Man. and a person like you should know better. That's yeah, the bad clown child. Ooh, I'm just so outstanding. <laughs> well, you better get more than that fan if you want to have a fight with me. I'll get you together. So, when it came to her pregnancy announcement, there was a lot of doubt from the start, but luckily, Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, Candy Burris, and Nene Leakes were very supportive. We will definitely be welcoming a boy or girl this year. Ah! I'm super excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I thought that was really sweet as a viewer, and apparently so did the mother-to-be, who tweeted out, it was sweet of the girls to be happy for me. So bless. Hashtag R-H-O-A. Since the announcement, Kenya Moore has kind of stayed under the radar while still posting cute baby-inspired posts on Instagram along with some silly posts about her cravings. I will be covering a little more about this later on in the video, so be sure to stick around to get all the tea. Now, the point of this video is to paint the full picture and to give you all of the available proof as we will be following this story up until delivery, baby. For the record, I really do believe that Kenya Moore is pregnant and I really couldn't be more happy about the timing. She is living her best life. However, one does have to wonder, could this have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze? Let me put out the disclaimer because I really hate to do this, but I want you guys to understand that the only thing that I love more than you guys is the facts. And sometimes I know stuff that I cannot share because I've been sworn to secrecy, so I may stop liking your fave a few months. Well, we won't go there, but uh, we can. <laughs> and I may say some stuff that you don't like, but you just don't like it because you don't know the full tea yet. Now, with that being said, the fact that Kenya Moore wasn't exactly in Bravo's good graces last season is not a secret. If you remember, Bravo was not pleased with the fact that Kenya ran off to get a whole husband behind their backs. And they stayed being petty pretty much the whole season. Have y'all forgotten about all that behind the scenes footage they shared of Kenya Moore having a full blown meltdown in that petty scene on the show? Things got so bad, I started to wonder if they were gonna fire the queen. Bye. And when I got intel about things going on with production that turned out to be true, it was hard to keep those secrets and it was even harder to keep the faith in Kenya Moore. I admire her for sticking to her guns. I know y'all were shook when Bravo canceled Kenya's tickets to the girls trip, which caused her to miss out on a whole three to four episodes. Uh, yeah, and then they put her all the way on the furthest seat away from Andy at the reunion. Yeah, that wasn't a coincidence. And Andy made it pretty clear that he was not happy and he slammed Kenya for withholding valuable aspects of her life. No joke. You are on a reality TV show. The guy that you marry doesn't like the show. I just wonder what your husband thinks of 
your past on the show? Does he think you've ever been messy? After being paid to share and after being open with sharing with everyone for all these years. In fact, at some point, I actually recommended that Kenya get pregnant to save herself and I encourage Bravo to explore the idea of a Kenya Moore wedding special to make up for them missing out on Kenya's first ceremony when she eloped. And while I was making this video, I actually got the notification that Kenya Moore just posted asking fans to help her choose a name for her spinoff. So stay woke. With all things considered, I do think that Kenya Moore is not faking it. All this time, Kenya has always wanted love and Kenya has always wanted a family. And it looks like all of that is finally being manifested right before our eyes. Yes. It definitely saved her job that she's pregnant, but God can be petty sometimes like that, right? You don't look pregnant in that dress. Well, <laughs> In our first video, you can see that Kenya Moore was definitely open to having twins. At the time, I don't think even Kenya knew what she was having, but apparently her BFF Cynthia Bailey may have had all the answers. I definitely think <laughs> You may be having twins. Last season, Bravo tried something a little bit different and very interesting, and they called it the after show. I didn't love it, if we're gonna be honest, but I'm glad that I was able to see them staying hip with the times. And in one of those clips, Cynthia Bailey, who apparently has some psychic abilities. Other psychics have told me that I have the gift. I mean, I don't really use it that much, but apparently it's in there. But that's a whole nother story. Predicted months ago that Kenya Moore would actually be pregnant really soon. And she also predicted that she'd be having a boy. <laughs> I just gotta... What if I... <laughs> I think it's gonna be a boy. I was dying laughing because it was so petty, but low key, can't y'all see Cynthia in her Miss Cleo element? In that same video, Cynthia was also guided to tell Kenya Moore that there was also a strong possibility that she'd be having twins. Why are you And I definitely me? think you may be having twins. And if you have twins, I think it's going to be a boy and a girl. I am so excited. I'm feeling the whole twins vibe. I mean, Kenya has already had twin puppies, so it's already like in her energy, right? Okay, okay. I know you guys are still waiting for proof. Kenya Moore shared her first baby bump photos on Instagram, and you are going to catch all the feels. Are you guys ready? Just kidding. <laughs> That's actually from a few years ago when Kenya Moore and Candy Burris were at a pregnancy store when Candy was pregnant with Ace. But don't quote me on that. Now, here's a picture of Kenya, who is clearly flaunting her baby bump with the baby. And I know it's a tiny bump, but it's enough of a bump that Bravo should go ahead and send the cameras on over there if you ask me. Before that, Kenya shared an inside look at her first Mother's Day, where her husband got her orchestra pit seats to fellow Detroit Rays singer Anna Baker's live concert in Atlanta. Come on, orchestra pit. I don't think that Kenya will go through all of this to like pretend with you guys. Like that would just be like super, super lame. I can't wait. I only have one gripe, and that is with the idea of having twins and ending up with a girl and a boy. I think it's such a waste if she has like a choice, but hear me out. To me, the whole point in sharing all my food, all my water, and a whole stomach with somebody else for the first nine months of my life is if, in the end, we we'll get to have all of the perks of being identical twins. I'm talking like you do my job today because I'm not in the mood. I'm talking about, you know, I done got caught doing something I ain't supposed to do and you do a couple days in jail for me and say hey to Tyrone and then when I get tired you come we switch it up you know to me that's the goal in life you know I mean hello twins are out here swallowing each other's urine for most of the nine months y'all yeah now you know I am just saying, no shade towards fraternal twins. My first two sisters are 
fraternal twins. And my last two sisters were definitely, guess what, fraternal twins. But the shade of it all is my middle sister and I were not twins at all. And everyone thought we were the only twins in the family. Wait, I just realized like I got some childhood issues that I still gotta work through. Ayana, come fix my life. Anyways, he and Moore may be having twins, and if so, I motion that they be identical or even mirror image twins. I am just saying. Comment below if there's anything that I miss and let me know what you guys are thinking. And if you have twin sisters or brothers, whether they're identical or not, comment below and let me know if you're having these same like feelings about identical twins because I know I can't be the only one. Also, I had to follow up my first video about Kenya Moore having twins because that Binge Worthy video actually just hit over 1.5 million views and I'm so happy about that. Thank you guys so much for watching all the time. That just goes to show how many people are really excited to follow this story and I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on Kenya Moore's pregnancy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to Binge Worthy, you have to make it official by liking, commenting, and subscribing because this channel is lit. And for all of my current binge watchers out there that be commenting on every video, I see you, I hear you, and I cannot wait to know what you guys think about this video. So comment below. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.